had one of my fellow technicians ask me, why do I have so many tools to diagnose relays? Well, the simple answer is, is the relay is one of the greatest portals and ways to access a circuit, both on the control and power side. So what is a relay? This is a relay. This relay is an electromagnetical switch. Inside of it, you have a coil and it is provided with power that closes the contacts on a circuit that may have a lot of current flowing through it. This way, well, they can minimize the gauge of the wire going from, let's say, the cockpit to this relay underneath the hood and then having an even shorter wire that is carrying even more current to, let's say, like a headlight or a cooling fan. This is also used in other circuits like, let's say, the fuel pump or other things underneath the hood of the vehicle. So what tools do I got? Well, I got this device that you can plug into the fuse box and look at the different things that are going on with the circuit itself. You can power the circuit. You can also look for the control impulse, both the little lights right here. And more importantly, you can use a current amp or probe and measure how much current that circuit is pulling. The other ones that I have, well, I've got these breakouts and these plug into the fuse box and I can put a relay in on top to hopefully test the circuit itself with either a voltmeter or even a scope. Then I have these ones that actually have a switch on top. This can actuate the circuit and tell me if the circuit is active and the component that that relay is controlling is working properly. These also come with a wire loop to test how much current is flowing through the relay itself. Other ones that I have, well, it's a relay buddy. You actually put the relay in here and it tests the relay and determines if it's good or bad. So again, why do I have all these tools to diagnose something as simple as a relay? Well, it eliminates a lot of possible false negatives that you may do in a diagnosis. You may try to swap a relay, and when you swap that relay, well, you may get a result that you did not expect, like both circuits working or neither circuit working. So with these tools, I'm able to diagnose not only the relay, but the circuit itself, and this will save me a lot of time in the diagnosis of the vehicle. So keep this in mind. Relays are actually getting very expensive. In some cases, you may see a fuel pump relay that is fairly sophisticated that may have a $50 to $80 price tag to it. This is something you do not want to be swapping in and out to confirm a diagnosis. You need these tools to make sure you're making the right call. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.